YouTube, it's Justin, AK Demonic Sweaters. Today I have an older piece of gear we're going to be talking about. This is a Yamaha YDD60 tabletop drum set. This thing is also known as the DD65. Um, they have a newer model uh, that's pretty similar out these days called the DD75, I believe. Uh, but they are essentially a pretty similar device, um, although this one doesn't have quite as many kits as the 75 does. But still, for the money, you can find these for pretty cheap. I found this one for $75 on the Facebook Marketplace. And I picked this up actually for a student, but I'm just making a video of it before I hand it over to them. Um, but it's uh, pretty cool. You know, I was just playing around with it. And it has 50 internal drum kits. It has a MIDI input and output. It has a stereo uh, audio output, a mix input, so you can plug in, you know, uh, an MP3 player or anything like that. I know nobody really has those anymore. But you could plug a Bluetooth adapter in there and connect your phone to it if you wanted to do that. It also has a lot of built-in songs. What you heard there was a little uh, song that's inside of it. Most of them are just kind of like loops like that that just go over and over again. But they're still pretty fun to play along to. It comes with pedals, which look like this. They're kind of like little hockey puck looking things. Um, and believe it or not, the bass drum pedal is actually velocity sensitive on this little tiny pedal. And as you can see on my demo video there, I actually had them taped to the floor uh, because that makes it a lot better. Uh, they don't slide around when you're playing them. I and mean, I just use gaff tape so it doesn't leave any residue or anything like that. Uh, but if you had it on carpet, it would probably be just as good as taping them to the floor, or maybe not. Or maybe you could just put some Velcro on there uh, to stick it on whatever surface that you're playing on. Uh, but one thing that's really cool about this is actually, since this is a velocity sensitive uh, pedal, that got me thinking that this thing probably would accept a regular uh, bass drum trigger, and it does. You can plug in the standard uh, Yamaha bass drum triggers or any, any piezo type bass drum trigger should work on this uh, tabletop drum set. The hi-hat is just a switch, so that one you're pretty much stuck with the pedal that it comes with or any other switching type hi-hat pedal that you could find. It's not gonna react with the velocity sensitivity or anything like that, but the fact that the bass drum pedal does uh, is really, really nice. And in fact, this little pedal, even though, like I said, it slides around and stuff, it doesn't really feel like a bass drum pedal. But if you have it secured to the floor, it's really not that bad. It's definitely much better than the one that came with the pile uh, drum set that I had that was similar to this one. Now, I am actually a big fan of these tabletop type drum sets. And the reason why is since I'm a drum instructor, um, I like to recommend these for students, you know, new students, younger students, uh, mo mostly because of their parents. For one, they don't have to assemble anything. Uh, two, all the drums that they need are right there on one surface and they can wear headphones. They're not very loud and they have the pedals and everything like that and plus they're inexpensive. Like I said, you can pick these up used. They don't make this model anymore, but used for around $75 to $150, which is a really, really decent price for what you get. Um, it's definitely a very playable drum set and the fact that it has a MIDI input and output also would allow you to use things like Easy Drummer or if you wanted to use the program Melodics to actually learn how to play drums, uh, which is a program that I like quite a bit and I use it with my students, um, this drum set would work with that as well. You would have to use a standard MIDI uh, connection though to your computer because this does not have USB, but it does have a standard MIDI input and output. All right, so here's the ports on the back. And like I said, there's a standard MIDI input and output. You see the two pedal inputs. There's an auxiliary input, the power connection, and then the main headphone output, which also can be used as, an, as a regular audio output to connect to your computer, like I did just now to record that. Um, the other thing that it has that's really nifty is on the bottom here, 
you can see these little cutouts and these fit perfectly with a snare stand. So that's actually how I had this thing mounted is I have a snare stand right here and these little things you know, on the snare stand basically fit right in these little notches that are on the bottom of the drum. So that is actually very, very nice. Makes it very easy to mount and it's very sturdy on there. It doesn't really, there's no chance of it coming off. And uh, yeah, it's just pretty cool. There's 50 internal preset kits and it does allow you to customize your own kits. And I think you have five or 10 or something like that that you can save. The sounds are not incredible, but they're not that bad either. Um, they're pretty usable as far as practice goes. And even for light gigging or something like that, if you just wanted something simple to take around with you, uh, for a cover gig or something like that. This drum set actually could work. It has this really cool hand percussion mode too that you can turn on that basically makes the pads uh, more sensitive to play with your hands and then turns all the pads into percussion sounds. So this is also a really, really handy thing you could take along with you for percussion gigs or something like that. And I do believe the DD75 does that as well. Um, so yeah, overall, I think it's really cool. It's definitely worth the $75 that I paid for it. And I think my student is going to like it a lot and he'll be able to practice at home. Right now he doesn't have a drum set, so this is gonna be really nice for him. And uh, anyway, that's pretty much all for this video. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell icon, and I'll see you guys really soon. Later.